MIUI 13 is here. Yeah, Xiaomi unveiled its brand new MIUI update at its Xiaomi 12 event yesterday. And this is an update that brings UI changes, lots of cool widgets, and some really interesting cool features. So you know what? I'm gonna tell you all the new features in MIUI 13. But before we begin, I wanna give a huge shout out to Wondershare's Dr. Phone, which is a great all-in-one tool for smartphones. I mean, Dr. Phone brings a lot of different tools, be it data recovery, data transfer, data backup, system repair if your phone's not working, screen unlock, password manager, and more. Because all of these tools are fast and nice, and Wondershare promises data security. Apart from that, I like the nice user-friendly UI of the tool. Now, Dr. Phone is free to try, so check it out from the link in the description down below. Now, I'm going to start with the visual changes in MIUI 13 because I think that's what interests most of you guys. So, yeah. Okay, so this is what a MIUI 13 home screen looks like. Yes, this is brand new and it's pretty clear that this is all about the widgets. See, there are a ton of new widgets in MIUI 13 and a lot of them are like, you guessed it, iOS. Just look at the clock widget on MIUI 13 next to the iOS clock widget. Now, take a look at the weather widget here. I mean, unlike Google's widgets in Android 12, which are very unique, these are obviously inspired from iOS. Now, that's all. Just look at the widget picker and the UI for different widget sizes. Yeah, the iOS resemblance is quite noticeable. Anyway, the widgets are pretty cool because this is not a half-hearted attempt. There are so many widgets. Just look at the widgets panel in the screen record. There are widgets for music player, notes, app suggestions, gallery, and more. I mean, Xiaomi even showed off some fun widgets like these or even this rock, paper, scissors widget. I mean, that's pretty cool, right? Now, one interesting thing I noticed with widgets is that in this video, they're changing the theme or color depending on the wallpaper. So yeah, material you theming may be supported in MIUI 13. Anyway, another visual change is the new MIUI 13 control center, which is once again kind of revamped and once again takes more elements from iOS. I mean, just look at the brightness and volume sliders. Apart from this, MIUI 13 brings some cool new super wallpapers in partnership with a company called Beauty Science. So here are the wallpapers and these wallpapers are recorded using a polarization microscope to show the changes of crystal formation through 8K time-lapse photography and I think they look pretty cool. Now lastly on the visual front is the new Mi Sans font which looks quite minimal and a more refined sans serif font so yeah, cool. So coming to privacy features in MIUI 13, first of all, MIUI 13 changes face unlock to body unlock. I mean, that's not how they put it officially, but you know. Anyway, MIUI 13 will scan the face along with the upper body to make sure that other people who have a similar face can't unlock your phone because mostly the bodies are different. MIUI 13 also has a new feature where you can scan your IDs and put a watermark on it so that when you share your ID with someone, it's not misused. There's also a new system level anti-fraud feature which warns users when they get a fraud call or when they're installing a malware app. Now, I'm not sure if these features will come to MIUI 13 globally, but yeah, these are interesting. See, we all know about MIUI and its bugs, its big issue, and we've talked about that in a previous video, and Xiaomi had acknowledged it previously, and they did it again while launching MIUI 13. I mean, I don't understand Chinese, but thanks to Google Lens, I know that they're talking about bugs and how they have fixed more than 400 bugs in MIUI over the last few months. And now there's only like 17 bugs in the latest stable versions. So yeah, hopefully MIUI 13 actually makes the whole MIUI bug situation better. Apart from that, MIUI 13 is set to reduce frame drops in budget phones by 52%, in mid-range phones by 32%, and in flagship phones by 15%. The new MIUI update is also set to bring better performance in system apps and better memory optimization based on factors like location, time, etc. MIUI 13 also has a tablet version called MIUI 13 Pad and honestly this new OS kind of makes me want to try out a Mi Pad and hopefully they'll bring it in India very soon. In MIUI 13 Pad you can just press and hold the corner of an app and drag it to quickly put it in a window like this. Plus the window is scalable so yeah this should be good for multitasking. There's also the option to drag and drop apps from the taskbar to open them in small windows. Now this does seem like a tweaked version of the Android 12L gesture but that's not a bad thing. You can also press hold on an app and use this button to open it in a window. Now these gestures are actually cool. And apart from that, Xiaomi has optimized a number of apps to adapt better on the bigger screen. And there's also better support for traditional keyboard shortcuts in MIUI 13 pack. Now I talked about MIUI 13 for phones and MIUI 13 pad, 
But the big deal about MIUI 13 is the fact that it's spread across multiple categories of devices. See, MIUI 13 works across phones, tablets, smart home devices, TVs, and more. And that means some really cool connected features. And that's what MIUI Next is all about. And it's pretty cool. First of all, there's a similar feature to Apple Handoff. I mean, you can just open an app on your phone and you can continue using it on your tablet. You can do it on a notes app, a document editing app, or even while playing videos. Mio Next also means that you can even copy OTPs on your phone and paste it on your tablet. Now, Mio 13 is also coming to Xiaomi watches and that means when you're navigating on your phone, you can continue getting directions on your watch. You can also take a call on your phone and continue on your watch. Now, this is nice and only if you could get these features on Mi laptops. So MIUI Next is an interesting feature. I mean, it's a cool feature that works across multiple MIUI 13 devices, but Mi Magic Center is the ultimate all device feature. So MIUI 13 has this new center, aka the Magic Center, where you can see the different Xiaomi devices, be it your tablet, TV, speaker, laptop, etc. Now, say you're playing some music on your phone, you can drag the audio to the speaker and the speaker will start playing it instantly. You can also drag it to your TV and it starts playing on your TV. How cool is this? Now that's not all, it even works with videos as you can see here, yeah, this is nice. And you can also just drag a window here and drop it on a device you want and just start playing it. Xiaomi has also announced a new MIUI 13 for home, aka smart home devices and a new MIUI 13 TV update. And I like that all of these different MIUI 13 platforms play well with each other. I mean, it's great really, but both of these are China specific OSs. I mean, Indian Xiaomi TVs and Redmi TVs use Android TV, so I'm not gonna go into detail here. Anyway, so those are all the MIUI 13 features and changes we know so far. And I think the new MIUI update does look interesting. I mean, I know a lot of continuity features won't arrive in India, but they are cool, right? Plus I like the new visual changes, even though they are inspired by iOS. Now, obviously, I will bring you a more detailed look at MIUI 13 once I get hands-on on the beta, which hopefully will be very soon, so stay tuned for that. Also, I know there's a question about when will your device get the MIUI 13 update. Well, we have a detailed article on the same in the description down below, so make sure to check it out. Also, give this video a like, make sure to share it, and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one. I really want to hear you say Woo! Yo, how's your ride? How's your ride?